All throughout calculus course, we will be finding roots of a function. A root of a function is nothing more than a number for which the function is zero. In other words, finding the roots of a function g of x is equivalent to solving g of x is equal to zero. So for example three, we're going to determine all the roots of f of t, which is equal to 9t cubed minus 18t squared plus 6t. So the solution, we will need to solve this equation. We have 9t cubed minus 18t squared plus 6t, and then we're going to set that equal to 0. Now the first thing we want to do is we should factor the equation as much as possible. So what can we factor out of all three terms? Well, the greatest factor that we can factor out is 3t. So if we factor out 3t, what's left in here is 3t squared minus 6t plus 2, which is equal to 0. Next, recall that if a product of two things are zero, then one or both of them ha had to be zero. This means that 3t is equal to zero, or 3t squared minus 6t plus 2 is equal to zero. Now, if we look at the first equation here, it's clear that one of the roots must then be t is equal to zero. To get the remaining roots, we will need to use the quadratic formula on the second equation. Doing this, gives, doing this gives the following. So here's our equation. We have 3t squared minus 6t plus 2 is equal to 0. So what do we know? We know that the value of a is equal to 3. The value of b is equal to negative 6 and the value of c is equal to 2. And now recall that the quadratic formula is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So what do we do? We plugged in the following values. So we said that 6 is plugged in for b. And then we can say that A represents 3. So there's our 3. And then C is 2. So there's 2 and then there's 2. So a negative times a negative makes this positive 6 plus or minus negative 6 squared is 36 minus 24, which gives us 12 divided by 6. Now keep in mind that 12 can be broken down as 4 and 3. So the square root of 4 gives us 2. So we have 6 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3. And then we can simplify the 6's and the 2's. So we can see that uh, 2 goes into all of these numbers. So 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 6 three times. And 2 goes into 6 three times here. And then we can rewrite this as 3 over 3, which is 1, plus or minus 1 third times the square root of 3, and which is equal to 1, or plus or minus 1 over the square root of 3. Now, in order to remind you how to simplify radicals, we gave several forms of the answer. To complete the problem, here's a complete list of all the roots of this function. t is equal to 0, t is equal to 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3, and t is equal to 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3. Note, we didn't use the final form of the roots from the quadratic. This is usually where we'll stop with the simplification for these kinds of roots. Also note that, for the sake of the practice, we broke up the compact form for the two roots of the quadratic. You will need to be able to do this, so make sure that you can.